Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing my first YouTube video. Sorry, I'm not gonna be showing my face because I'm, I'm still a bit camera shy. So I'm gonna be just showing showing you this screen recording. So we're gonna be working on this picture, which I shot on a Nikon D800 with a 50 millimeter studio setup. So we're gonna be retouching this image. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you through the process. I'm gonna be using some of my actions. Don't mind them; they are a bit scattered, and then put them in, in order. And they're just arranged to my liking. So let's start. So I have to start by removing the blemishes. So what I do, I will put it in black and white. What is the color? Color. Yeah, black and white, put in black and white so that we can see properly the blemishes. So I just use this pot tilling brush and start select the layer and start just going over the blemishes. The blemishes when we freeze. Doesn't have she doesn't have that much blemishes on there. Eh? But the process which I use just to remove blemishes. I noticed that she has some sort of dark spots which don't show on black and white. So they just go through the dark spots. Okay. It's gonna be so easy. I'm probably just gonna post this video like this i'm not gonna edit it or edit it or anything or even speed it up i'm just gonna post it like this okay let's move this wire the soft wire okay it's easy see let's move it don't worry it's a bit messy the way i'm doing it but once i've done the retouch you want see much of it okay then that's clean okay so i usually secure my pictures four by five it's the instagram size it's four by five so that when you post on instagram it to be the actual size okay so we're gonna be using my action pack of here don't mind i told you it's a bit scattered but I understand it so I use this portrait what what so to get the right texture for your frequency separation you must be able to select the right number at this stage okay so the higher the, the, higher the number the rough is gonna be your texture your texture when you start doing your frequency version the lower the number the softer is gonna be your your texture okay so let's start at 3.7 so you want to stop where by your 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 pose or your your pose are just starting to get a bit play that's when you want to stop so it is still fine you don't want to cover like everything you just want to stop when you're about to play out those poles we're using we're using the nose so about four i think four is okay let's put 4.1 it's okay okay so that's the texture Frequency separation is the process of separating the texture layer and the color layer. So the gray, the gray part, that one, that's the, that's the texture layer, the one over here, that's the texture layer. Okay, so I'm gonna use the layer here to do my frequency separation. Guys, don't worry, this is not a detailed uh, tutorial. It's not even a tutorial. I just want to start this YouTube thing. So, if you have any questions, 
write them in the comment section then i'll do a proper video or some retouching this one is just a walkover of my retouching process so what you're doing here we're just blending the skin with the mixer brush if you haven't done used a mixer brush before for retouch put your comment in, in this comment section below so that i do a video on how to use a mixer brush for retouch so i'm gonna use your comments to make my future videos so if you want me to make any future videos just place a comment of what you want me to make and i will help you out okay as i said this one is not an actual tutorial it's just a rundown of my retouching process okay i think we understand each other How's it coming out? I think it's coming out nice. What do you think? I think it's nice. It's coming out nice. Yeah. We chose the right play for this. Okay. So let's use a bigger brush for the ends and the back. So you just rubbing. It's actually making an effect, it's a beautiful effect. And the back. Okay. Actually amazing. I always wanted to start this YouTube thing. But I'm really, really camera shy. So I think you're gonna be seeing less of me. You can actually see these screen recordings I'm doing right now. That's what you're gonna be seeing was I'm not good at being in front of a camera. So that's what you're gonna be watching for for a while. So I told you if you want a specific uh tutorial just comment in the comment section and then i do a tutorial for that i think that's the easy way to start this this youtube page you just give me a comment and i'll do what you want me uh it can be how to clean up a background how to stretch a background how to do frequency separation properly how do you use a mixer brush? There are various types of frequency suppression. There is one which you use the the median, and you don't have to use a mixer brush. A mixer brush is a bit time consuming, but I guess the best results for me. I never really liked to use the mixer brush, but I just started using it recently, and it was giving me a better result. And I really enjoyed it i'm loving the light coming from the from the right it's really nice okay let's do dodge and burn okay i think i have some here yeah dodge and burn so digit makes just two cat layers one which is up one which is down so this one is the one which is up the dodge just select a brush Look at my settings 12 12. It's not that harsh. So we can do this. Now we're just lighting up. Let me show you the deal. Let's put a brush on white. So we can put in an effect. Okay, let's work it out. Yeah. See? It's working. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna zoom in, put black to black and white, 
then we follow the highlights the dodging the highlights let's dodge the highlights we're dodging the highlights dodging the highlights dodging 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 the highlights see dodging the highlights come on then we want dodge then we are fine let's dodge the highlights okay then you select burn burn is for the shadows so we're gonna burn the shadows make them a bit dark see so burn so <clears throat> the thing is when you do frequency separation it leaves our picture a bit flat <coughs> so we do dodge and burn to give it a bit of structure make it a bit of 3d so that won't have to be really really flat that's why we do <coughs> dodge and burn <coughs> excuse me okay let's see let's on off on off facing gives us a bit of structure i think my burn is too much we can reduce it here six it's fine i don't know what you think guys i think we did good on this one okay let's whiten up the eyes i have an action for that one eyes whitening which is play okay let's do the eye whitening Select all oh, this, change the settings over here and do eye whitening. I usually like whitening, even the reflector inside it gives it a dreamy eye. I don't know what you think, guys. I think we did justice to this one. So, if you have any questions and if you have any topics which you want me to do on this channel, just comment below, then I'll do it for you. So this is bye guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace. I'm out.